Okay, so in this video, I wanted to give a quick uh, overview for researchers who are working with sets of images that need a fast, repeatable, and open source option for batch cropping their images. So before we get started, I'll just mention I've made all of the information that I'm going to share in this video available in a permanent repository that's linked in the description below. Um, and there you'll find a PDF with step-by-step -step directions, as well as the macro that I'm demonstrating um, for you to download and use uh, for your own applications. So in this work, we're going to be using ImageJ or Fiji, which is available uh, for free for you to download online. Um, it's open source and it's uh, well used within the research community for those who aren't familiar with it. So here we've opened uh, Fiji or ImageJ and it's just simply a toolbar um, that opens up. So first I'll just demonstrate like the basic uh, process of cropping images. Here I have a folder of 10 images um, and all of these images are of uh, grapes that are 50 grapes that are displayed on a porcelain plate and imaged. Um, so we have all of this background that we want to exclude from our analysis. So we just want to select um, the area that shows the uh, grapes on the plate and crop everything else out. So if we want to open up an image in ImageJ one at a time, we can simply uh, navigate in our uh, finder and drag and drop this into the toolbar and it will open the image. And if we were going to go about just the traditional step-by-step uh, -step method of cropping, we would go ahead and use the rectangle tool to highlight our area of interest, uh, which is just the grapes, um, and exclude everything outside of this box. And then you can go ahead to image and then down to crop. Um, or alternatively, the shortcut on a Mac is shift X. And there we've cropped our image. And then if you wanted to go ahead and save this, you would have to go to file and then um, save as you have options to save as TIFFs or other types of formats, or the short uh, the shortcut for that would be Command S, which would give you the option to just save this to the same directory you pulled it from, um, or you can navigate to a different directory if you wish. I think we pulled it from Cropping Demo 1, actually. Um, and you can go ahead and save that as, a, in this case, a TIFF file. So this could be rather slow and cumbersome if you have a very large set of images where you're trying to crop um, your region of interest on hundreds or even thousands of images. Um, it would be pretty tedious to go through, open up each image, select the region of interest, and then go ahead and crop, save, close out, open the next image. So a faster way to do this would be to open up um, this set of 10 images that are contained within this folder as an image sequence. Um, and I'm going to give you two different options for batch cropping your images here. The first is to crop as an image sequence. This method is ideal if you have a series of images that are all taken at the same scale and the area you want to crop is in the same uh, part of the field of view of every single image. If your uh, region of interest that you want to crop in every image is shifted from side to side or up and down from one image to the next, this probably, this first option I'm showing you is not the best strategy. Uh, you'll probably want to use the second option I'm going to share, which is using a macro. Um, but for this first option, uh, batch cropping things as an image sequence, we want to go to File, and then we're going to go to Import, Image Sequence. And here we're going to set uh, select where our directory is, where the folder is containing the images that we want to import as a sequence. So here, Cropping Demo 1, this folder on my desktop with these 10 images, we're going to go ahead and open that. Um, that'll be where we're pulling images from. And all of the rest can pretty much be kept the same in this instance. Uh, we're going to sort the names uh, numerically uh, from the folder. Hit OK. And this is going to take a minute or two to import. You could see the progress bar in Fiji here. Um, it takes about a second per image. So if you have a very large set of images, this might take a minute or two. But since we only have 10 images, that was pretty quick. And uh, here we have our image sequence. So you can see the first image in the sequence is pulled up. And on the bottom of this, you can see a, a little scroll bar where if I click down here, it'll scroll to the next image in the sequence, the third image, fourth, or I can use my arrow keys to um, look through these. So here's our 10 images of the grapes. And so on this first image in the sequence, I'm going to go ahead and use that rectangle tool, select my region of interest um, on this plate, and we'll be kind of generous here with the area we're cropping out because um, you'll see in the subsequent I can scroll through and it will show my region of interest, how in the subsequent images, maybe those grapes are shifted um, in where they're located on that plate. So maybe I go through and just quickly check, like in this instance, I'm kind of cropping off this 
the side of that grape right there. And here, maybe I can bring this out a little bit further so it captures those grapes. But otherwise, okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go back, um, just double check, looks good. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and I can go up again to image and then crop, or alternatively, I just hit shift X on a Mac, and there we've cropped every single image in this sequence um, to the same region of interest, and all of these images will be at the same dimensions. You can see the dimensions here, uh, 2,324 pixels by 1,864 pixels for every single image um, and crop to the same field of view. So then we want to go ahead and go to File, and we'll go Save uh, As, and then Image Sequence. And here we'll uh, set our directory where I want to save these images to. If I want to overwrite the uh, raw files that I had, so if I want to overwrite all of those raw images with the cropped images, I can go ahead and save this. Uh, these as JPEG files to the same folder um, with the same file name, or alternatively, if I want to preserve these, I would save my cropped images to a separate folder. But let's go ahead and overwrite these, so I'll select that. Uh, what format do we want to save in? Um, I'll keep it as a JPEG in this instance, and we want to use our slice labels as file names. So all of my slice labels indicate what each image is, so I want to preserve that. Um, we'll hit OK. You can see the progress bar up there went very quickly. And let's check out um, that folder. We should have all of our cropped images here now. And if we look more closely at this, yep, we have, uh, looks like all of these cropped images, they're saved as JPEG uh, files. Um, and you can see the new dimensions of all of these images. Okay, so that's one option to um, batch crop as a, a image sequence. The second option I'm gonna show you is if perhaps again, your region of interest is shifted throughout the field of view from one image to the next, and you really need uh, the user to specify what your region of interest is in each image of your image stack of where you wanna crop. So uh, for this instance, we'll use a macro, which is just essentially gonna automate the process of uh, opening, uh, loading an image from a user-specified directory into ImageJ, and then it's going to prompt the user to select a region in the image to be cropped with the rectangle tool. And then once the user selects that region of interest, it's going to crop the image to the uh, area and then save that cropped image to the directory that you're working from and overwrite the image um, with the newly cropped image and then open the next image in the directory. And this process will continue until the last image in the folder has been cropped. So um, to start this up, we'll go ahead and we'll go to plugins. And because it's a macro, we go to macro and then run. And uh, this macro is available um, through the link in the description box below. You can download it yourself, uh, but it's gonna be this crop images macro. So we'll go ahead and select that macro. As soon as I select it, it starts running and it's prompting me to select my directory where my uh, images can be found. So uh, the directory that we wanna work from is gonna be this cropping demo two, which contains the same set of the same 10, 10 images we just cropped as an image sequence. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate on the same 10, image, 10 images here using this macro. So we're gonna select this as our directory, and this is where it's gonna pull images from uh, sequentially, image by image, and then save the images too once we've done cropping. So we go ahead and hit open. It's gonna pull that first image from the folder, and you'll see we have uh, an action required box here. It pulls up that first image. It loads, uh, it has the rectangle tool ready to go. Um, for me to select the area of interest, I go ahead, select the area. When I'm ready, I can make some uh, fine adjustments to this if I want. But when I'm ready, I hit OK. It'll crop, save, open the next image in the folder. Um, and we can just go through this fairly quickly. It saves you the time of having to, uh, having to go through and open each image by hand, uh, you know, crop, and then save to the same directory. So... It's not as quick as the previous method where you're batch cropping as an image sequence, but it's certainly uh, quite a bit faster than, um, than going ahead and doing these uh, one step at a time on your own. So this should be pretty quick. I won't be super picky about how I'm doing this just to get through these 10 images. Okay, so that was the last image in the folder, and now there's no more images for it to pull. So let's check out 
that folder, it should have all of our cropped images um, here and here we can see, yep, looks like all 10 of those images were cropped to where I had specified. So overall, that's uh, how you'd go about using both of these cropping methods. Um, again, there is in the description box a link to step-by-step um, -step directions that you can download and look at more carefully. It says a PDF file, and then there's also the macro file, which is an IJM file that's available at that DOI link um, for you to download, and uh, you can use it just as I demonstrated here. So I hope this was helpful, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment, and uh, at some point I'll get around to maybe addressing it. Hopefully I'll have a few more videos on uh, some image analysis techniques uh, as we move forward.